discipline has characterized much of Japan's development. A fanatical work ethic created the thriving car and consumer electronics industries, which helped turn post-war Japan into the second biggest economy in the world. The engine room of that economic miracle was in the back streets. Tokyo's Otter district had thousands of small factories able to quickly fabricate the specialist parts that the manufacturing giants depended on. Today, only a handful of the engineering grandmasters remain. Here we are, number five, Mini Mickey Moto Street. We have met Iwai-san this morning, 83-year-old tool maker. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm nearly lost for words. It's all happening in here. Come, come and have a look. You'll see what I'm on about. You'll see what I'm on about. Iwai-san is a Takumi, right? And that means you've served at least 60,000 hours to be able to become a master in your trade. The super tip's up the back there. I've been there a day or two, haven't I? So, that's it. Well, katawuze mi tae da wodo, ne? Takumi are elite engineers who dedicate themselves to making one single item perfectly. They made the back streets of Tokyo. Watching a man at one with his machines, like money cannot buy them. Iwai san is a grandmaster at making metal cylinders. And this part of the program doesn't need words. You can just see, you can just. He's lived above this workshop for 50 years, making parts for bullet trains, satellites, and nuclear power stations. Today he's working on a part for a pump in one of Tokyo's sewers. It requires just as much precision. The outside diameter of that edge there, it's got a machine that's to within 130 microns. That's about two human hairs, right? You know, that's six hours work. And at this point now, if he went one hair's width too much, that, that whole six hours down the pan, you've got to have your eye on the job. You've got to have the feel for the machine, which only comes with experience. The problem is, these boys aren't getting any younger. There's no apprentices in here. There's no one learning his trade. They've got three Ks in. Kitanai, Kiken, and Kitsu, which is dirty, demanding, and dangerous. That's what the youth of Japan don't want. The government says there's a shortage of 50,000 advanced engineers. Japan's days as a technology leader are seemingly numbered. The feel of the knob of your micrometer, just as it's meeting the maximum of the circumference. You can see, you can see. The outside surface is now perfect. The inside must be cut to the same level of precision. And this time, Guy will be allowed to operate the lathe. Oh, I'm excited. Brave man. OK. Guy bought his first lathe at the age of 18. This is his Mr. Miyagi moment. Proud moment. Achieving the perfect finish requires several passes. I don't think anything beats the job satisfaction of turning the wheels. Yeah, off the Takumi, honoured. You can hear... You can hear the cutting, so he knows when it's coming to the end, the note changes. Yeah. So you just say Mimi. OK. Back, back. The machining is over. Guy's work is checked. 266 with a tolerance of 72 microns. And we are on. Iwai san, the Takumi, declares it acceptable. On the money. <laughs> Fractionally under. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good work. Good work. It's <laughs> 
Ha detto. Ha ragazzo. Ha ragazzo. Yeah. <laughs>